Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this tab open. I'm going to open a new tab. Um, I'm going to go to a site called pixlr.com. So this is a photo editing um, app. Do not take photo editing to mean that you just put a photo in here and you make that photo look better. Uh, when we are talking about photography in terms of like, like uh, this class, we're talking about photography that's called a photo collage or a photo montage. Um, a photo collage um, is uh, a collection of photographs made to look like one photograph. So that so today I'm going to just show you how to sketch in that using that method. Um, later, I'll show you guys how to actually kind of make it even better so that it actually looks like everything is the same. So when you're in Pixlr, the first thing you're gonna do is click this Pixlr E. Pixlr X is fun and if you wanna do that to make stuff for, you know, like uh, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, whatever you want to, that's fine. But it's not really great for our class. It's a very fun thing to use, but it's not a very artful thing to use. It's very, uh, clunky and very cheesy looking, but Pixlr E, advanced Pixlr E, is pretty advanced. So you come in here and you can see that there's like a whole bunch of stuff that I've been working on for other uh, classes, things like that. Um, you guys are going to uh, click create new. You're going to title it. Now we're working on nature, right? That's our, our, our theme for right now is nature. And I decided I'm going to make one that's about planets because planets are a form of nature, right? They are natural, they are organic. So I'm going to um, planet sketches number one. And then I would hit create. For sketches, it's perfectly okay to use this full HD. If you're looking to actually print this out into like an eight by 10 photograph, you're gonna to wanna to make this um, ultra HD. But if you're just doing this for sketches, full HD is fine. And then you'll hit create. Now I already have a planet sketches made. And it's because I didn't wanna to spend too much time showing you guys how to do all this stuff. Now you're gonna see in here that I have multiple layers. I have a layer one, which is my background basically. And then I have an image, another image, and then I have layer five. I'll show you how I did all of this. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this little checkbox here and it's gonna make that invisible. I'm gonna click this little checkbox here and it's gonna make it invisible. So in my sketch, what I'm looking to do is kind of sketch out this idea that I have that it's like a planet with another planet as its moon. So. Um, now I don't want all this, like, it's cool, but I don't want this background here. I just want this planet. So for the purpose of a sketch, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button here and I'm going to choose the ellipse. So I'm just sketching this. So it's okay if it's kind of rough, it's okay if it's not perfect. Um, what I'm trying to do though is get that ellipse as much around this circle as possible. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going to go to select, invert selection. And you're going to see why in just a minute, because now I can hit delete. Nope. Oh, it's because I'm in the wrong layer. There we go. So you always have to make sure that you're in the right layer, otherwise it's not gonna let you do that. What happened is I was in the background layer. And so when I went to go cut something, there was nothing there. But now when this layer, I could cut something because there was something there. So um, I did control X and it deletes everything. If I had not inverted the selection, Right. If I had just kept this, I did Control X. It would cut out this. The it would cut that out, and I don't want it to do that. So that's why you need to invert, is so that you can cut out what you want to cut out. Now I'm recording this, you guys. So if you're like getting all like panicky because you're like I don't, um, you're going too fast. I'm recording this so that you guys can see this later. So I have multiple layers on here and that's on purpose because now watch now if I put this layer if I turn this layer back on. And I move this layer. 
in front of this layer, now it looks like there's kind of a, um, a, like a planet sitting here, right? And it looks like it's kind of the moon for this planet. I don't like this thing over here. And to be honest with you, I don't like this black background right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure I'm clicked on this layer, the layer that has this moon surface. And I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna use what's called the lasso select tool. So if I use this lasso tool, it's kind of like drawing. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like do kind of a rough cut and I'm gonna delete it. And I'm gonna do that again. You can actually zoom in and kind of delete what you wanna delete. Oop. Select, deselect. And then I'm gonna come back in. I'm gonna do kind of a rough cut so that it, because I really wanna get this earth out of there because this really is the moon's surface. And I just wanted to get that, that what I really wanna get out of here is I wanna get out. Select, deselect so that I can get some more. I really just wanna get this out of there because it's annoying to me. And I'm gonna delete it. Okay, so that's good enough for me. So now, um, I want to have this on, but right now, if I were to like, that's kind of boring, right? So I'm going to turn this layer back on. And now this, now everything's black and that's not, I'm gonna deselect. That sounds like, that's not cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take layer five and I'm gonna drop it below everything else. So now it looks like you have, right, this kind of planet coming behind this. Moon over here. Now I'm going to show you how I did this basically. So I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to hit this thing here. This is layer. I'm just going to make an empty layer. And now with that empty layer, I'm going to uh, make a shape and I'm going to make a kind of more black space here. But actually this time I'm going to make it into a gradient. And so that it has some kind of like, it looks a little, it has some kind of depth to it. I'm gonna do this gradient. I'm gonna go like this. Okay, so I'm gonna take this layer now and I'm gonna move it down. And what if that's what my sky looked like? That's one thing you can do. The way I got the photographs in there is I made layer, empty layer, and then I searched up giraffe because I'm gonna put a giraffe on my planet because why not? Um, so I like this picture of this giraffe. I'm gonna right click on it, copy image. I'm gonna make sure that I'm in an empty layer. So a layer that has nothing in it, layer six. And I'm gonna to go to edit, paste. And so now I have this picture of this giraffe. But again, I don't like this background behind the giraffe. So I showed you that you can use this tool if you're doing exactly a square or exactly a circle. I showed you that you can do this tool, which is kind of like drawing around that thing. Another tool that you can use is the erase tool. I will tell you though, that the erase tool is a little messy and it's a little difficult to use, but it still works. So I'm just gonna like do kind of a quick erase around the giraffe. See, I just cut off his ear because it's a little messy. See, now, now I have to erase all this. So that's why I don't like the erase tool. That's why I like this tool instead. I can actually just now come in and go, it's kind of quick. It's just a sketch. It's okay if it's a little messy. You can figure out for your final if you want today to figure out for your final, how would you do this so that it wasn't so messy? And then I'm gonna go to select, invert selection, and then I'm gonna do control X to delete it. It's not the best to, like erase in the world, but that's okay, it's just a sketch. So now I'm gonna take this ad off so that I can put my giraffe 
down here. And then now it looks like I have a giraffe on the moon with a planet behind it. Kind of cool. Something else you can do um, is this, if you do a blend mode, it's gonna blend with the layers below it. And you can do things like, um, where is it? You can change the transparency of it so that it starts to get a little bit darker because you have black in the background. So that it starts to look a little bit more like space, but it has some kind of depth to it. So that's kind of just a quick, like, I just want to show you kind of quickly how you do um, uh, sketches in Pixlr. Tomorrow, I'll show you how to do a little bit more of a refined artwork in, in here, but this is just meant for a sketch. So what I did is I searched up the pictures I was looking for. I copied them. I pasted them into here. And then I used either this tool to select it. And then I did uh, select invert selection, or you can use this tool, the lasso tool, and you can so you can just kind of do a quick cutout and then invert selection, select invert and then delete it. And then while you're, and then you can just kind of, you make sure you're making new layers every time. This is the new layer button. And you can kind of move your layers around in order to get what you want. And if you want a very specific color in your background, you can just use the shape tool and you can make a shape. And uh, these will tell you what color it's gonna be. If you wanna do a gradient, it's this button here. So these down here tell you what color your um, shape will be. So if you wanna change, like say I wanna put a star right here, which is gonna be really cheesy, but you'll see. I don't want a black star. So I'm gonna undo that. And what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna click on that button and I'm gonna to go to this like orangey yellow color. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna move my circle, come on circle move up here and I'm gonna put a star in. And you'll notice that the, the side is this color and the center is this color. If I want the center to be this color, I just have to select it and now it'll be there. Now notice how it kind of got darker. It's because I put it on this layer. If you don't want that to get darker, you can actually make a new layer and put a star in. So um, I recorded this. And so you guys are gonna be able to get this. I'm gonna stop my recording right now.